No. I should be able to get up there. Oh my god, fucking what are those things? The belly... The belly got a lot of... Hit points. A lot of HP. I shoot so many arrows at it. It wouldn't explode for some reason. I think it's because of the control tower that's... Buffing him up. Okay, so every time I do... Uh, override the tower first before I beat it. Not to self. <laughs> My god, that was that was a nightmare to fight. Now oh, this way. This must be the shrine Naltuk was talking about. Guess I should take some blue gleam. Sparkles. I see why it's worth a lot. What? Only one? Are you fucking serious? Oh, this blue gleam right here. Only one? I got only one? Are you fucking serious right now? What the fuck? Now Took said Rhea went past the shrine up into the mountain. I'd better take those stairs. An ancient door. Maybe Aurea's inside. Hmm. All that work for just one blue gleam, motherfucker. March tenth, two thousand forty-six. I just spent sixteen hours in here trying to install upgrades to improve efficiency for the central processing unit. Project Firebreak is going to need the brain power. Let's just hope I'll have enough of my own. Anita stayed with me the whole time. We got a lot done, but. Every time she brushed by and I smelled her hair. Oh boy. I should just go to bed. Lots of strange equipment. What was this place? Are we way to find out? Yeah, okay, a moment. Anything here? This is Director of Security Blevins resending the emergency supply order. Try reading it this time, okay? You weasels don't want me calling my people in SLC. <laughs> Sounds like a bitch. Anything else? No? Locked. Maybe my focus can help. So, where's the lock? Looks like the door's wired. To something over here. We top we saw power to the door. Oh, you didn't see that. Director of Security Blevins is riding us like a petty tyrant. I can't even sneeze without triggering his control issues. Sounds like Bevings is micromanaging. 
Oh, this seems important. The door again. Those nodes on the floor must be connected to the door. Sounds like a seems like a very sophisticated lock. I wonder why. Something. What am I supposed to do with these lights? Oh. Turn clockwise. These things turn, changing the flow of light. Turn clockwise. So how does this work? You connect this somehow. Okay, seems simple enough. All right, let's see if the door's open. Why do I have to? Why do they have to make it a puzzle to for a lock? That seems really unnecessary. Could be a mountain climbing champion in our world. Fresh air ahead. Now fly. Ooh. Ah. Out again. Maybe I can get back inside through that structure over there. On it. Looks like I need to get to those stairs. point I'm not much higher to climb Maria must be close yeah it has to be it she has to be in here somewhere stage two complete Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. 
Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. Well, I can't blame them. again, as I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah! I can't help you if you won't speak! Whisper is all I ask, to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I... I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. She's so desperate. I feel sorry for her. Good, huh? Did wow. I the goal's the same? Get the light back to the source. So... The light point this way. So we need to get it somehow. This gonna take a while. Oh wait. Okay, so Give me a moment, let me back trace it. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Restraints evaded. Is someone there? Ik Orea? Orea, I need you. Return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the daemon is forcing me. Orea, please. Transmission terminated. You brought the spirit's voice back. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? What do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. 
Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's... done some terrible things. But he's also helped me when no one else could. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. Hmm. Then we already know what his plans were. Right after the end credit. You seem to have a history with this voice. This... Spirit. She saved my life. Here. Years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off. Alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard a voice. A wanderer. Lost, like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here. In this room. She bones? wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe. And she listened. With patience. With wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me. Never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul. Cut off from what it needs. Lonely. Forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's Drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her, if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again. Until today. Damn. You're persistent, I give you that. What kept you from the spirit? 
after it begs for help. I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunderstrom until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunderstrom. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. Yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a Warrock of great hunters to defeat the Daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass, and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. And because of you, I did. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain. Thunder's drum. So why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's drum is dangerous more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds Maybe like a new chieftain. Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Well, you said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible, even for an outlander. An Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She is suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Wirak's attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits the prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sekuli. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratak's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Better be not another of those cheap weapons, like the ones Silence gave me. Give me something unique, please. Let's see what it is. Eh, it's a storm slinger. Oh, I see. Interesting. But well, good enough. I did something that will help get the attention of the Warwick. I got the tall neck near the frost figures moving again. That's good to hear. I'm sure the Warwick will be talking. Now you need to do something else to convince them of your claim. I think... I think she wants me to do the rest of all of the uh, side quests, I think. 
How's Aratok gonna react to being challenged by an Outlander? About as well as you'd expect. But let me handle that. Winning at the hunting grounds will impress the Warrick. All Banuk strive to be the best. For our harsh lands will bury pretenders in the ice. And so the hunting grounds and the snow chance is a great boon. A place to hone our spears and sharpen our aim. Tell Lovuk, the Keeper there, that I sent you. If you best the mark of one of the champions she trained, it will impress the Warak indeed. You said I should try to help the Warak by taking out bandits. Yes. They don't dare taunt the great Weraks of Banor to the north. But the cut is easier prey. A rogue Asaram has equipped a gang in the Plumelands with strange new gear. Just the kind of thing you seem to make sense of. You mentioned your friend, Sekuli. Who is she? A rock painter. One who makes my own scrawling seem meager. Find her in Song's Edge and help her gather the materials she needs. Her work will no doubt stand the test of time, and any aid you give her will be remembered. Okay. So I gotta do them all anyway. I need to get going. There is much to be done. Gotta do all of them. So our tap we have nothing on me. Upper two. Uh, I mean, what is that? Oh. Kenny and I don't need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. That's it? Is that it? need to fight about the laundry, so instead we fight about incommensurability and restrictions on machine intelligence. Oh, I see. Okay, so I'll just stop right here and uh, see you all in the next episode this DLC so thank you for watching if you like the video please press a like and subscribe to my video and uh, I'll see you all the next time so over and out